G'day. Welcome to Marty's Beer Show. <laughs> right, take the hard work out of drinking beer so you can just enjoy it. Uh, right, eh? So, today's show. Uh, there we go. Cool, I'm back. Today's show, I'm looking at American beers, or beers from America, or American beers that Americans drink. Now, um, so I'm in Australia, that's where I'm from, so we can, we can take the piss out of American beer. So um, what you hear, you hear it's uh, weak as piss, it's cat's piss, it's camel's piss. Um, so I'll be trying to find out if it's actually made from animals' urine or not. I, I doubt it is. Um, another one, it's it's like sex in a canoe. Why do you ask? Because it's fucking near water. Um, so good rap, bad rap, whatever it is, they get a bad rap because Australian beer is just shit hot. So um, let's see what our friends in America are drinking these days. So uh, first up, Budweiser. The king of beers, world renowned. This is a famous drop. It's in every bloody movie you see or even movies you don't see. This is all you hear about Budweiser. It's on the ads for um, sports, uh, motor racing in America. You know, bloody it's Budweiser. Um, now it opens with a screw top uh, and it's got a trivia question. What? No, it doesn't. There's nothing in there. Anyways, um. So, very recognisable label from the get-go, Budweiser. It'd have to be up there with one of the most recognisable beer bottles. Um, so, it's got a reputation to be noticed. But does it have a reputation? Does it taste? Does it? I don't know. I think I've had it before. Can't, can't remember. But, starting off the bat, um, no froth. So, that's a cross on the froth factor, uh, which is a very important factor in the factor department. So... I can't sense the urine, but I can't sense much else. Um, so what did I say? It's, it's 1.2 standard drink. So it's, it's your 4.5% alcohol. Uh, it just tastes like a light beer. It tastes like a light beer, a mid-strength beer. Um, so this one's brewed under under license by Carlton United. Maybe that's not that's maybe that's why it's not the actual real deal. Um, this is our interpretation of what they make. Anyways, doesn't taste like much. Pretty boring. Start to finish. Um, again, what kind of beer is it? It's a um, doesn't even say. Um, Lager, there you go, it's a lager. So it's gonna be an easy drinker, smooth, but there's just not, it's one of the biggest beers in the world. It's not, I mean, it's not bad, it's just not, there's nothing happening, there's nothing going on. So I feel like I can get the, um, I can get the scalability scale in going with these, I reckon, because they're just probably not gonna be that great. So let's just see how that goes, eh? Yeah, that's probably the best for that. Drink it as quick as you can, get rid of it. Anyways, Budweiser, king of beers, so they say. Um, right, oh, so, Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer, PBR, PBR, um, from Milwaukee, established 1844. Um, it's the original, da da da. 1.2 standard drink, so you're a full strength beer at 4.6%. See, these beers don't really say uh, what they are if it's a um, hail or lager. Um, but again, it's been brewed in Australia, so I'm doing pretty well here. But I guess it's our uh, take on how they brew it. They told us how to do it, anyways. Enough jibber jabber. Let's just uh, crack open a nice cold PBR blue ribbon. So it's just it's self it's proclaiming itself to be a, a winner. 
of sorts. Unless the blue ribbon's a consolation prize, but I'm pretty sure that's the best in show ribbon. But uh, they sponsor like bull riding, they sponsor um, things again, you know. Now, no froth, so again, it could be whatever, but let's have a Oh yeah, tastes different to the other beer because it is different, but again, not much going on. That's pretty, that tastes like a light beer or a mid-strength beer. It's not very interesting. It's very easy to drink. Um, just doesn't, it doesn't inspire you whatsoever to do drink another one it just that's a that's a smash it down wear one of those funny hats with several cans on it and drink like that at a frat party out of a red cup or something that's you could just you could do some damage with that but um just not there's nothing there let's see how it goes on the scalability scale I'm predicting quite easy Yeah, I think you could um, shotgun that. Jam your keys in there, but don't do that. Drink responsibly. But I, I wouldn't recommend that one. Let's hope it gets better from here. Uh, next bottle of urine off the rank. Uh, Miller Genuine Draft, four times filtered beer. Uh, okay, we're looking at a. 1.2 standard drinks so you're going to uh, some sort of percentage um, of whatever 4.7% uh, there you go now for three from three this is also made in Australia under license so uh, you know maybe we've made it better maybe we've made it worse I couldn't say. Um, Miller has um, a few varieties available here. They have the Miller Chill, which is like a Rattler, where they, whatever. Uh, also, nothing interesting on the cap, except it keeps it closed. Uh, yeah, right out, Miller, Genuine Draft. Well, it's not like Genuine Draft because it's not made by them, it's made by us. But, funny fact about Miller, um, I, no, I don't know any funny facts about them. Uh, right, eh? See, it's got a bit of froth, but geez, that doesn't doesn't really smell that amazing. But oh, it doesn't really taste amazing either. Hmm. Well. These guys weren't that amazing, and this one's less amazing than those ones are. It really, again, it's like it's like a mid. It tastes like a mid strength or a light beer. It's it doesn't taste like animal urine. Not that I've tasted that, but that's a. At least it's not that, but. It just starts empty, it finishes empty, it doesn't do much, it doesn't inspire. Uh, I and mean, it's not bad, it is, it is like, it's quite refreshing, like it's a... You could probably sink a few of them if you're, while you're watching the soccer, football, the football games they play. But, anyways, we'll try and just top that up a bit more. And a bit more. We'll go with the uh, scalability scale. Maybe that's why these beers are this way. Just, just, Americans just want to have gagger and chug, chug. But you know, let's just uh, um, oh, actually, probably not as good on the scalability scale because a bit of it's got a bit of froth going. But um, yeah. Not amazing again. So, um, moving right along. Cores. 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 
Born in the Rockies. Refreshing, crisp, refreshing lager. Um, now, this is in a bottle. Um, that's how it's served. Um, I'll get back to that. 4.2%, 1.1 standard drinks. Now, let's see if it's made in Australia. Um, oh, it's low carb, low carb beer. So there you go. Um, brewed in Australia under license. Well, great research today, haven't I? So it opens. Again, no thing. So, anyways, the cans of these cores uh, they have this pretty cool feature where um, when they're cold, the can is changes colour. The mountains, uh, it's, it's witchcraft. So those, remember those little cars used to have the Technicolor, hypercolor, the well, hot, I don't know, and they change color and put them in hot water and cold water. They make them out of those, they recycle those cars. No, they don't, but they do so. Anyways, when it's cold, it goes blue or goes white blue, and then when they're warm, it does the other color that it wasn't when it was warm. It's a good indicator if you don't, if you, like, I don't have time to touch it, I'll just look at the label and then I'll know that it's, anyways, that's the cans, this is the bottle. Then I don't know. They might, I don't know if they had them. They probably did. I didn't look. I didn't really look that hard. Um, honestly. Um, but just doing it. Doing it for the gram, anyways. Doesn't really smell that much. It doesn't really taste like much. It's um, it's pretty light. It's got a bit of fizz, it's a bit, a bit more fizz like this fella. But it just starts off with not much going on, and it leaves. It, it finishes. It's what it has to do. Also, with not this just doesn't taste like anything. That's it tastes like. I did a review on non-alcoholic beers not long ago. Go check it out. It's bloody brilliant. C cinematography marvel. Um, and they they were non-alcoholic beers, and um, they they didn't taste bad, but they didn't taste that much. These kind of just taste in the same realm as like non-alcoholic um, beers. Like that's just nothing. There's just nothing going on. I can see the refreshing part. Like a hot, real hot day, you could smash a few of these down while you were painting the roof or something, um, which you should do on a hot day. But, um, yeah, not very inspiring, but we'll just um, go for the scalability scale. I'm predicting big things here. Yeah. Just as I thought. You can do that to that. And no one will be none the wiser. Uh, righto. Um, so next beer. Now, actually... So these four are like pretty much your big standard ones, I guess, like the ones you'd see and, uh, and go, oh yeah, that's them. And this one, I'll come across this one. So I thought it's from America and maybe it'll upset the apple cart because it might actually taste good. Um, these guys actually have a few a range of like craft, almost, you'd say craft beers. They've got like sour beers, they've got uh, hazies, got XPAs, um, there's a pale ale. Um, so maybe this could this could maybe uh, do some goodness. Um, so it's five point six percent. So it's up there with the big boys. Um, One point five standard drinks. Um, and here we go. It's actually brewed in uh, in America. It's imported. So product of USA. So these guys are from Morley in WA. WA not being West Australia, being whatever that state is in there. But, um, oh, it says it's a craft beer. So, I don't know why it's a craft beer. It's quite popular. Now, also, first beer in the uh, range to have a pop top. So, um, that deserves a little, uh, that deserves a little, uh, that, there, yeah, cool. Anyways, um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Oh, so that smells good. That smells 
bit sh a bit molasses molassesy, bit fruity, bit sweet, bit sugar cat. That's got a lot going on. This could something that tastes good. It might actually taste like something. Um, which would be pretty good. Cause I've had a lot of um camel's piss tonight. Apparently. So straight out of the um straight out of the gates, that's that's rather a few a few shades or tones darker. So um whoop de doo. Let's um let's see what it tastes like. Wow, that's um, that is nothing like these beers. That is your, that's got your pale ale, your very bitter, very. I can't see how if people drink these, they would not like this. I don't want it. It's um, it's very bitter. It's very dry. It's not very sweet, even though it had that molasses sugar cane sort of sort of funk going down. It's um yeah, it's a bit crafty. It's a bit crafty, it's a bit thick. It starts off sort of empty. And then it builds as it as the cumulo the numulus. That's what it does. Definitely, and it's, nah, it's actually not that good, but relatively speaking, it's, it's good. Nah, if this was in a different field, it wouldn't have a icebergs hell, icebergs hell chance, chance in hell, but. Amongst its current stable mates, it's doing pretty well. Now, I don't think it's going to skull too well because it's a bit thick. It's a bit, but don't, but don't, but you know, well, um, the name of science and technology. I'm trying to pick points, it, it's really giving me that oh sort of taste like. Um, not amazing, uh, not, not very, very, not very refreshing, um, but interesting, um, it's got that pale ale sort of XPA, IPA sort of thing going on, but I could have done better, let's go for the skull, the one where I skull it. Nah, that's probably best to just savour it, even though it's not that good, I wouldn't skull it, um, but geez, there you go, that was a bit of a letdown, um, flavour wise, no surprises, like, um, as I said, they've got a reputation here, um, as being, like I said, urine-like, and uh, depending what your urine tastes like, maybe they do taste like urine, but they're just not... Yeah, um, sorry America as a whole. Uh, I know it's a tough time at the moment, uh, depending when you're watching this. Um, but you could you could do better. You could probably do better. Um, so if I had to choose one, um, and I probably will have to choose one, um, mm. Now nah, I'm not even gonna choose one. Don't bother. <laughs> yeah. Well, nah, they whatever. They are what they are. They've got a purpose. If, you, if, you, if they're on special at the bottle shop. And, uh, and, yeah, maybe get them then. But I'll tell you what, um, the reputation's there for a reason. Uh, cool, anyways, um, thanks for watching uh, Marty's Beer Show. 
my review on American beers. And um, remember to like and subscribe. And you'll get to see more of these just absolute moments in history um, where I do this. And if you have any suggestions for beers you might want me to try, leave a comment and I'll, I'll try them. Or if you make beer, also send me some beers and I'll drink them and I'll film them and I'll take a photo and, and um, it'll be cool. So yeah, anyways, Marty's Beer Show.